Hi, I'm Andre Minkov, the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, we're gonna dive deep into the entrepreneur's mind. We're gonna talk about certainty and commitment when it comes to branding, when it comes to trademarking, and in general. Get it trademarked with Trademark Factory. How many times has somebody given you a perfectly logical explanation why you needed to do something for your business? And you agreed, it made perfect sense. You said to yourself, yes, this is something I should do. And it's something I will do at some point. I'm just not gonna do it right now. But I know I should do this at some point. It happens a lot to a lot of business owners. And interestingly, the reasons we come up with why we don't do the things we should do are usually reasons why we should do those things in the first place. But this boils down to two things. This boils down to commitment and certainty. The problem is a lot of business owners, they're waiting for that sign from above that they've accomplished a certain milestone. They've reached a certain level of revenue, a certain number of clients, certain number of likes on Facebook. And they're like, you know what? When I hit that milestone, that's when I'm gonna take care of this, or this, or this, or this, because they know they have to take care of this, 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 and this, but they're waiting for something externally to happen. And what they're really waiting for is certainty. They're waiting for absolute certainty that whatever they're doing is the right decision, that whatever investment they're about to make in their business is the right investment, that Whatever they're planning to do, they're going to do at the exact right time, at the exact right space, with the exact right people, for the exact right amount of money. And the interesting thing about certainty is that those business owners believe that once they have certainty, that's when they're going to be able to make a full commitment to their business. But guess what? Commitment never comes as a result of certainty. It's the other way around. First you make a decision, first you make a commitment, then certainty comes. Think about any decision you made in your life, any significant decision. There was no certainty. No, that's why it's called a hard decision. But once you've made that decision, once you've committed to it, guess what happened? You became more and more certain that the decision was right. And more often than not, it was right. It was the right decision. And when you started your business, when you came up with this idea, you know what, I'm gonna do this thing. Were you absolutely certain? No, no but you made that decision and you started moving in that direction. Your role as a leader, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, is to make a series of decisions, a series of commitments, to take your business from an idea that you came up with towards the dream, towards the vision that you see for your business. And if you're gonna let those decisions, those commitments become hostage, to this idea that at some point you're gonna have absolute certainty? Let me tell you, you're never gonna hit your dream. You're never gonna to get to that vision because you're never gonna get that certainty. Think about this. All the milestones that we have for ourselves are made up. If you say to yourself, well, if I hit a million dollars in revenue, that's when I'll know that this is a real business. Well, let me ask you, if your business makes 900,000 that year, is that not a real business? What if it makes 850? See what I mean? And it doesn't matter what the numbers are. What matters is that we make all this stuff up. 
And the reason we make this stuff up is to give ourselves an excuse to not commit fully to our vision, to not commit fully to what we see for this business and to give ourselves a way out if we don't hit those goals. Look at the most successful companies in the world, the multi-billion dollar companies. Do you think they have absolute certainty about their every decision? No. They're facing huge decisions, hard decisions, and they're not certain. But what happens with the multi-billion dollar companies is the same thing that happens in the mind of business owners who are trying to get to their five figures. Commitment always comes first. Clarity and certainty come as a result of that commitment. So with respect to branding, with respect to trademarking, again, I can give you perfectly logical reasons why you should trademark your brand earlier rather than later. And I know that logically and intellectually you understand this. And I understand that you probably want to do this. But until you give yourself the permission to build a business that actually matters, until you commit to your business, until you commit to the goal, until you commit to the dream that you had for your business, it's just gonna be one of those, yeah, I should do it at some point kind of thing. My mentor, Dan Locke, teaches this concept of someday. All of us have, or at least used to have, the list of things that we would say, I'm gonna do that someday. I'm going to take my kids to Disneyland someday. I'm going to fly first class someday. I'm going to stay in fancy hotels someday. I'm going to buy business insurance someday. I'm going to hire the best people for my business someday. I'm going to file my trademarks someday. I'm going to do this someday. I'm going to do that someday. Well, here's the problem with all this. If you look at the calendar, for this year or the next year, you won't find a day that says someday. You just won't find it. And uh, the reason we say someday I'm going to do that is because it makes us feel better. It makes us feel better to know that we kind of logically understand the importance of those things. But we put them away for someday and someday never comes. That's the problem with this. So if you know you got to do those things, you got to do those things and don't wait for commitment to come as a result of certainty. That will never happen. Certainty will come as a result of your commitment, not the other way around. So with trademarks, ask yourself a question. Is the brand important to you? Would it be a problem if you lost your brand, if you were forced into rebranding? Would it be a problem if somebody sued you for you using that brand? And if your answer is yes, it is important, then don't wait until someday to do what you know you need to do. Don't wait until someday to protect it because someday never comes. And by the time you decide someday has come, it may be too late. And be honest, because your answer may be, no, it's not important. And it's perfectly okay as long as you're honest. But if your answer is, no, this brand is not important, then what you need to do is come up with a different brand. A brand that's actually gonna mean something to you. A brand that's gonna help you commit to give yourself the permission to make this business into something that actually matters. And that's when certainty comes. So if you found this video useful, if you found it interesting, subscribe to my channel right now, get notified whenever the next video goes live. We post new videos every day from Monday to Friday, 
and sometimes we post on weekends too. And if you've got a brand you want to protect, if you're serious about your brand, if you're committed to building that business of your dream and you want to protect your brand, go to trademarkfactory.com and book a free call with one of our strategy advisors and we're going to help you from there. And I'll see you in the next video.